Yeah, I'm gonna swing over. I'm gonna swing over. I'm gonna swing over. And now I missed the last one. It's about hitting the button presses at specific points. Oh shit. <laughs> of course I did. And hello everyone, and welcome to Arcade Saturdays, where we take a dollar and we go down to the arcade and play some classic video games. Oh goodness gracious, we got Dragon's Lair going on. Yeah, that's right. Dragon's Lair. What do you think about that? Oh man, so I <laughs> I came into it. This is the Dragon's Lair that was released on the PS3. Um several years back. I can't even remember exactly when it was. I just know when it came out, I had to have it because I, I, I loved watching people play Dragon's Lair, but I couldn't play Dragon's Lair because I'm horrible. I, I suck at this game. Absolutely suck at this game. It's not a pretty sight. And uh, I, I, I was looking for something to do for this week, and I said, oh, God, let's do Dragon's Lair. Why not? So I came into it just a little bit before we started recording, and I played through one, and I found out that I had all the settings turned on to let me kind of cheat my way through the game. Uh, we can go into settings and I can show you. You know, you get the three to five lives, uh, or the infinite lives. You get the move beeps. I, <laughs> I had all this stuff on. The visual mode I, I had to the full screen and, and the, the move guide I had on. And basically what it does is it helps you play the game. But I said, you know what? Let's do this the other way. Let's do it the way I remember it. Let's do it the way that I can't play. Because because that's the way you do it in the arcades. Is You you, just, you didn't know anything about this damn game. You, you saw a cartoon playing in the background. And you went and played it. That's what you did. And you failed horribly and miserably. The only time I ever saw anybody do any good at this damn game was when they knew what the hell they were doing. And they were really good. And, and I, I was horrible. I, I can never play this damn game. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to play it like this. The normal arcade game, and it's got the arcade cabinet look. I will go through it twice, just to see how good I am. Now, we will count those as two quarters. Um, but usually this game costs 50 cents to play. This was one of the first games I remember that cost more than just one quarter to play. So... We're going to kind of cheat the system a little bit. We're going to play the hard modes. And uh, this is the hard mode. Now you've got a home mode, you've got the arcade mode. The home mode, I think, made it a little bit easier to play. Plus, it gave you more options. The arcade mode, basically... I, I think the home mode was like a, a continuation of the story. Like like you started at the beginning of the castle, you moved through to the end, and there you go. I think arcade mode switched up the, the rooms a little bit. Uh, there were several different rooms you can kind of see going on in the background. But, ah, screw it, let's play it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, there's easy and there's hard. What shall we do? If we're going to do two of them, let's do one easy, let's do one hard. Why not? Let's start. Let's start on the easy Let's see how bad this is. Oh my god. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. What the, with the with the lines on the screen. Just it makes it Oh, I'm so horrible at this guy. I, I apologize to everybody. Okay. I think it's one. Yeah, I'm gonna swing over. I'm gonna swing over. I'm gonna swing over. And now I missed the last one. It's about hitting the button presses at specific points. Oh shit. <laughs> of course I did. God. This is this is basically how it was when when this game came out. That and there you go. That's it. That that you want to talk about a quarter eating machine. This thing is it. So let's up the ante just a little bit. Let's put the move beeps on because I do remember some of the machines. They had the move beeps. So let's let's do that. Let's uh, let's try it again. Um, but let's let's just do this as painful as possible. We will go for hard. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing? 
what am I doing? Must be out of my damn mind. Oh. That... <laughs> Uh, and the other thing about it too is that Whoa. there were sometimes. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh! God, no shit! <laughs> there were sometimes that you just you didn't know what to do, and and on the actual on the actual uh, cabinet on the arcade cabinet. I remember there used to be, like, flashes, like, bigger flashes than most of, you know, most of that would, would let you know what to do, but with this, <laughs> Okay, so, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna keep it at three lives. We're gonna keep the move beeps on. Uh, we're gonna turn the move guide on. I'm gonna show you guys how they did it. Because we already know I suck at this. We're gonna turn full screen on. We're gonna look how, because this game is absolutely beautiful. Without a doubt, this game is amazing. Uh, but we're gonna turn all that shit on and we're gonna try it again. Oh, man. And this becomes infinitely easier. Uh, we will do arcade mode. We will do home mode. We will do a home mode. So we'll just count each one as 20. We'll just say that... We'll just say that we got lucky found an arcade that only charges us 25 cents for each play. But I'm gonna show you, when this pops up, all you really have to do is just look down there at the, uh, the move guide. On the on the bottom left hand side, and you'll know exactly what to do. I don't even have to watch the screen, you know. There's one. There's one. Okay, so you see, look, see how look how, look how good I am now. Watch me be bad at this though. Oh, there's that one. Then there's that one. Then there's that one. Oh, did I miss that one? See, sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not so good. But look how amazing this was. And of course, this is, uh... I hit the wrong, I hit the wrong way. That was my fault. This was, uh... Don Bluth Studios. Which, of course... Oh, shit. <laughs> missed that one, too. That's the other thing about it, too, is if you don't know which way to jump, you'll miss it. See, even like this, I still suck. It's still horrible. Oh, man. You can watch the game, and I have watched the whole game all the way through, and it's a pretty amazing thing. It's a pretty cool tale. I think it lasts 15, 20 minutes to watch the whole thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole thing. But it's still a cool little feature to check out. If you happen to have a PS3 and want to download this, I don't know if it's on anything else. It may or may not be. <laughs> Let's go home mode. Uh, we will try this. We're gonna try it on easy. I, oh man. This is why I never played this game. Because I know better. I, I, there were... There were se several times... That wasn't so bad. Several times where I actually had a chance to play it. Uh, from whenever I was a kid to even... Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. But I had the chance to... I had the chance to play it. Oh, does it start over from the beginning? I guess it does start over from the beginning. Okay. Alright. But, uh... I had the chance to play it, and I said, No, I'm not gonna do it. There's no way in hell. It, it, you, it's a quarter eater. You, you find something that has mastered this goddamn game. And you go get them to play it. So maybe it, maybe it makes you, uh... Oh, shit. Maybe it makes you memorize your way through. I don't know. Okay. That one. Alright, that was good. Then the horse. Then, yeah. And then I think it's right. Left. And then left. Left. There you go. Look at that. Good stuff. Hmm. Oh, I had to press up. Okay, I didn't know. See? That's one of those things I didn't know. Now I'm dead. There you go. Well then, Dragon's Lair. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I knew this was going to be quick. I knew I was going to get into this thing, and it was going to be like, bam, 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 done. 
and that's it. And that's Dragon's Lair, and I've got it out of the way, and I don't have to think about it anymore. Because I kept thinking, it was always in the back of my head, man, I gotta, I would do Dragon's Lair eventually. I mean, it's one of those really memorable cabinets. You, you, you couldn't get away from having to stop and look at it, because it used to, <clears throat> it used to have the cabinet by itself, you know, with the, with the screen, and, you know, it, it, it'd have people all around it and stuff. But then I always remember there was a screen on top of the cabinet, way up, where you could stand back, you know, like five or six feet, and you could watch the guy playing, or, or like there would be one screen that would be showing one thing, and, you know, maybe the screen that the guy was playing on the other, or something like that. I always remember that. That was always the coolest feature of this game. But, yeah, I, <laughs> it's one of those I always come back to, and I always say, man, I, Dragon's Lair, I love Dragon's Lair, so great! But then, you know, I hardly ever played it, because I know I suck at it. If you know you suck at something, why do it? You know, what's the point in doing it? So, uh, anyways, now that we've, <laughs> now that we've, uh, now that we've done that, I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad I got out of the way. Dragon's Lair is officially out of the way. But if you enjoyed that, come back next time. You never know what the hell we're going to find. We do this every Saturday where we will go back in time and we will find some arcade game. And uh, we will play it and see what we can do, what we can do with it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know because I'm always open to trying to find... Uh, uh, different arcade games to try, uh, especially arcade games that I haven't really done before. Uh, we're gonna start doing some uh, some off the wall arcade games that I can find. I I know that the uh, the Capcom oh what is it the Capcom Arcade Collection for the PS3 has some games I've never heard of. Uh, some of the ones that the PS4 is selling right now on, on the the PlayStation Store. Uh, these arcade class. I've never heard of these. So we're going to try some of those. We're going we're to see... Uh, get out of my comfort zone again. And then we'll try to do some more... Some more... Uh, reimaginings. Uh, I know that uh, I, I eventually want to do the Pac-Man DX Plus... Uh, Championship Edition. I want to do the Galaga DX. Uh, and then I've got the Space Invaders... Um, Oh, what was that one called? I can't even remember it now. They did one for Space Invaders, and they... Several other, like, uh, reboots, reimaginings. You'll have to see. You'll have to see. Come back and see. It's the only way you're going to know. But until next time, until next Saturday, save up your quarters. Because we're going to go and we're going to have some more fun. This is always good stuff. But I have been your host, Nicodemus Kane. I thank you very much for watching. I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. <laughs>